Wheeler Glenn Walker here. Today I'm going to talk to you about the TK130 Trail Car Flipping Hook. Right now we're going to go flip some, uh, some of the last green milfoil that's left on these northern lakes. What we're going to be doing is flipping creature baits with a uh, half ounce tungsten weight and the Trail Car Flipping Hook. If you notice about the Trail Car Hook, it's wicked sharp. Once you hook a bass, they're not coming off. So we'll go catch some bass and show you the TK130 in action. I'm going to turn and I'll show you how to rig a bait on this flipping hook. So here's your TK130 flipping hook with the trill car barb. Put the hook point into the head of your bait, about a quarter inch, bring it out, slide it up the shaft past that trill car barb. So now that plastic's securely on there. And now just bury that hook point ever so lightly into the body of your bait. Make sure that point is buried so you don't get snagged. And now, Great bait. What we're doing is we're just flipping our creature bait into these pockets, open water pockets around the milfoil, letting it sink to the bottom. And then just giving it a couple uh, couple lifts of the rod. If they don't hit on that initial fall or that initial shake, just nothing there, so you just, sim just simply pitch that bait right into the next pocket, let it sink. You gotta make sure you get out of that foil. Folks, flipping mill foil. Look at that. He just ate that. Just ate that, that troll car hook. Stuck him good. Make sure you have a good pair of pliers when you're fishing with a trail car because you're going to need it. Trail car flipping hooks. Catch some fish like this. Thanks again for taking along with me on the water today. It's been a lot of fun. For more information on the trail car hook, check out lasertrollcar.com. And to follow me on my tournaments next year, check out fishglen.com. Thanks. See you on the water.